Where'd the name Metalhenge come from anyway? Well, you know Stonehenge, right? Yeah. Druids, big rocks, most metal place on earth. So we were thinking, what's heavier than stone? Metal. It was an obvious choice from there. There was only one name that was fit for us. Metalhenge. <laughs> We got Bucky Kentucky here, drummer from Metalhenge. So, what are some of your musical influences? Oh, you know, all the all the basic metal, man. Cannibal Corpse, Swimming with Nails, Jonas Brothers, Suicide Silence, the, the basics, man. Yeah, oh, okay. Um, what, what kind of stuff do you guys do backstage? You wouldn't believe what goes on, even if I told you, man. I've snorted drugs you didn't know existed off parts of a hooker you didn't know existed. <laughs> you couldn't handle it, let me just tell you that much. That's crazy. Backstage with Metal Henge. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Yeah, what anyone says, Taylor Swift is an inspiration to women everywhere. Yeah, it, it, wait, uh, that wasn't payday. It definitely was. No, two was not payday for you. I was right here. Uh, bullshit. <laughs> No, no, that's not gonna fly. That's Are you kidding? Fly. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna. It's your payday. Oh, I just oh. did eighty thousand dollars last year. You what? Son of a bitch! Get that camera out of here! What kind of drummers are you influenced by? Animal. A animal. Animal. Like um, but the Muppet. Didn't you hear me? Animal. Do you know our? There's not, like, a real drummer that... What the fuck are you saying about animal? Well, I'm just... I'm, I don't know, man. You know, he's a puppet, so... <laughs> this interview's over. <laughs> awesome. We got Necropsy Jones from Metal Henge here to do an interview for us. So, uh, you're the guitar player from Metal Henge? Yeah. Uh, what kind of influences inspire your music? I like to feel that I'm not really inspired by music, more of, you know, the everyday things that you see anywhere, you know, like the sound of a knife right before it kills a man, or a couple of innocents trapped in a burning car, you know, like that. Oh, I, I guess that's, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I see you're a guitar player, but don't, doesn't your band have a bassist? We did. Yeah, it, it was pretty unfortunate, but he died at the theme park last week. The theme park? What, did he fall off a roller coaster or something? No, no. Jump in a piece of cotton candy. I don't even know what to say to that. Was he, I don't know, what did he look like? Just, uh, you know, as a keeper, kept his skull. It's right over there. You kept his skull? And this is his face. Would you peel his face off? The same knife that I was inspired by. You should have heard the song we wrote after this one. Here's a single off Metal Henge's new album. I peeled off my basic skin with his face, and that wasn't properly worded right. Just <laughs> Get along well as a band? Jones! The new shirts are in! Just ordered them! Check it out! Awesome. You spelled metal wrong, you dick! I told you I wanted to read the Beyonce Get article! Jenny Garth is in this one! Give me! Fuck it! Fuck! Give me my cocoa! God! 
Oh, it's got marshmallows in it. You don't even like marshmallows. I want it. No. No, if you put that on, I'll so kill you. Give me that cocoa. Of course. Metal Henge's new hit single, Back Alley Skinning with a Dull Knife. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 